uh, so welcome uh, so it is difficult to come inside the meeting but then at least we are in the meeting so why don't you start by uh, telling us a little bit about yourself because people are very interested to know uh, okay so first thing first uh, to tell you other guys that uh, this look of ashwin is thanks to the lockdown okay so he does not look like that he looks much more dashing than this yes ashwin all yours all right hi guys um, my name is ashwin uh, i well i'm an electronics and communications engineer uh, i graduated from bs university in 2019 i've been working in cisco systems as a network consulting engineer for the last two years uh, one and a half years Ah, oh, okay. sorry. I was in mute. I couldn't come back on. All right. Uh, so, uh, like I said, so uh, I've been working in Cisco for a year and a half. Uh, so this is my second CAT attempt in 2019. My first attempt was in the final year of engineering, uh, where I had a 99.36 percentile. And uh, but uh, unfortunately, that year uh, I had only two calls. I mean, come on, uh, general engineer mail with pretty lower CATs. So. Uh, i got i am code code in fms calls both of which i couldn't convert so then uh, 2019 uh, again so my cat preparation started in like mid third year so i had a solid one year preparation for 20 uh, cat 18 and then i again prepared for year for cat 2019 where i secured 100 percentile overall with a 99.99 in verbal and uh, dilr and a 99.76 uh, in quant so then i ended up uh, i got calls from all iims except iim indore which even at 100 percent i wouldn't give me a call uh, then uh, i also wrote zat 20 i had a 99.914 percent uh, i applied only for bm and i converted that too so then i am bangalore i converted the, all of the others i am bangalore was a direct reject so uh, then i chosen i am ahmedabad i have paid uh, i've taken a one year defer uh, that is a policy given to people with low amount of work experience uh, basically if you have less than 2 years work experience you can defer your admit up to 2 years uh, that of course requires you to have a job which i was already working in and uh, only 10% of the class can secure that so last year there was a lot of applicants till then it was very less number of app applicants so that's it so uh, i'm still working i'll be joining this year's batch i hope i see a lot of you that too uh and yeah that's it about me so ashwin one thing that uh, students were very interested to know uh, in fact mm -hmm. uh, most of these students there is a, there is a large uh, number of students who are either working professionals or uh, who are college going students who in spite of the lockdown and etc have to attend classes till let's say 4 o'clock 5 o'clock and so on especially engineering students mm -hmm. or even commerce students some people uh, so one of my Uh, students uh, uh, actually help his family business okay so <laughs> one common problem that seems to be uh, uh, creating a uh, lot of uh, problems in in life is time management okay so now as a working professional how difficult was it to manage your time and how did you actually study because i'm sure 100 percentile did not come because you are brilliant 100 percent tell came with lot of hard work and hard breaks and etc all right so uh, look i like i told you my cat preparation was a it was a like a saga right a two year two plus year saga so when it started i like i said it was middle of third year my fifth semester was done december 2017 right before 28 so a year before i had actually started full on pre preparation when i was in college so in college like you said right we have classes till 4 like from morning 8 to let's say evening 3 or 4 o'clock so what i would do was i generally used to waste that time from let's say 6 onwards or early in the morning because let's be for the exam right or maybe one week maximum if you really study well so uh, what i did was i made sure that i spent a lot of uh, the time i used to generally waste into cat and it became see initially it takes a bit of effort see one hour i get tired i don't want to study anymore 
or even half an hour i solved 20 30 problems i don't feel like doing any more you get stuck in a few problems and you just don't feel like moving forward that happens but i think it took me around 4 months to go through the quant and lrdi syllabus uh, so that, so basically my cat preparation i can say was in three phases right the first phase was where i built the concepts again to a large extent the quant concepts i did know even though you know i wasn't very good at that. i just knew all the you know what what the concept is and um, lrdi was again a totally new thing you just bursting onto the scene and verbal was something uh, where i didn't prepare uh, you know either by modules or anything my verbal preparation was purely reading so i am somebody who's been uh, reading a lot of uh, novels right from childhood so uh, for me that was a big uh, it was a, not just a big help that was my preparation right the more i read and this is something uh, i was doing for a long time so it was it came very naturally you know i just ramped up the amount of books i was reading i probably read like 60 novels uh, well in the entire year so 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 thing about english is if you read you basically uh, learn be it vocabulary be it um, you know grammar uh, all of this comes subconsciously to you you like all right this sentence makes sense so when you start using that sentence you know what which of this i mean it's like i look at a sentence i know whether it makes sense because of its its muscle memory right uh, it's it's not just learning grammar rules and looking all right which grammar rule is working here or not there this comes and this is organically grown it takes time right and so, when for when you're looking at lrdi and quant for that matter that preparation time is basically going through each uh, chapter and doing problems in it so that you a particular formula you learn a particular concept you have to solve 20 30 problems to be sure about it so that first four months is spent on that and i initially spent maybe an hour hour and a half i think the last one or two months i was spending three hours where i spent two hours in the morning i should get up very early so this gave me actually a lot of time because i got up very early and i slept very early so I would get up at like 4.30, 5. So I would get an hour, hour and a half of very peaceful time. There's nobody around. And of course, the other thing was I was, I was living in a hostel. So you want to go up and take a bath first early in the morning, right? So did that uh, and there's no rush. So you go take a bath, come in and then I sit, sit for one, one and a half hours and maybe a half an hour, one hour in the evening. So around four months every day, I was able to cover syllabus. Again, I went very slow. You could go faster, but I wanted to you know, I had time, so I went slow. You could, again, like you guys have time. So make sure you go through everything, take that amount of time, uh, and you do that first part. And the second part is where you just solve problems, right? So one main uh, advice I would give you is this second part uh, should probably last maybe a month or so before your mocks start coming. So mocks, the centers will give you mocks from probably May, uh, and it goes all the way up to uh, one week before or to be two weeks before the exam. So that time, uh, I so my March, April, my uh, first phase was done. And then the second phase started where I was just solving. And here I was solving indiscriminately. So I'm not looking at which, uh, you know, particular topic I want to solve. It was across because I'd already done my topic. Uh, and again, this said, uh, there's a disclaimer that I was already pretty decent at math because I had studied a lot for my GE way back in 12. And if you look at CAT syllabus, the quant is pretty much that 10th or 12th standard math. It is not that hard. If you look at it, I mean, from a uh, concept sense, it is because the problems are tricky. So for that, you need a lot of practice, right? So my conceptual phase in math was much lesser than say LRDI, where I had to solve all time how to solve problems. That takes time. Uh, so. That said, uh, okay, anyway, uh, that was my first initial phase of my preparation. Second phase was just solving. Uh, I took past year mock papers. I took um, any sort of question banks I could find online. I, uh, you know, again, uh, at that point, I was a student of one coaching center, which was one mistake I had made. You don't follow just one set of people. That You always need different, which in a way, an academy helps a lot, which... Uh, at that point, I didn't use, but I feel you guys should be looking at that because you get a lot of uh, different people giving you different types of questions, right? That's very important. People solve questions, but watching that is very, very important. Understanding and solving along with them is very important. That helps you 
uh, improve the variety of questions you solve. It helps you improve your understanding of each topic. Then the last phase is mocks. So mocks was when uh, things start getting serious. The first mock I took, uh, I had done actually pretty well. Second mock, tuck it falls. Right, uh, my verbal percentile goes for a toss. Uh, I attempt thirty-four questions. I get twenty of them wrong. I was like <laughs> twenty questions wrong out of thirty-four. Next time I attempt, okay, I'll attempt only fifteen questions. I get eight of them wrong. So my scores have been all over the place, right? Uh, and that's when in your preparation, you start trying to identify where you're weak and how do you improve. Where are you strong and how do you capitalize on it? And then that's when the time management in the exam comes in. So initially, you know all the topics. You're equally comfortable with all the topics. But when you start solving questions in an exam, you the ones which you're very good at, you can understand whether the, you'll be able to solve the question or not. If you're weak in a topic, that's when you're not sure whether you should attempt or not. And that those few seconds which you lose, uh, you know, the 20, 30 seconds you take doing a few steps and realizing you can't solve this, that uh, cumulatively makes a big difference in the end. So those are the kind of things I started working during my mock time. So it was uh, mocks on, so I took only one coaching center's mock. So it was one on Saturday or Sunday. And then the entire next week I work on, when it was week. So there the amount of time I spent also was less. And this was my seventh semester. Things got very serious and the amount of time I could spend was much lesser. So it was those first six months which made a big difference for me in my preparation. Okay. Uh, same way when I, uh, oh yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Then I will ask uh, no, you. so that was a student's perspective, right? Uh, when I started working, uh, again, I uh, my job started in 2019 mid. So it was only that six months. Uh, uh, and that's when I started preparation for my second attempt. So my first attempt, I didn't get anything. All of that happened in April. Then a couple of months, I, I didn't feel like, you know, even touching cat. I had, uh, you know, that sort of a mentality. Ki, yaar, ko nahi karna and all that. And then eventually I realized, nahi, I can do it again. I can get a higher score. Uh, and, uh, you know, even see, in my re problem was my academics are very low. So if I needed an ABC, I needed a 99.7 for Calcutta, 99.95 for, uh, for Ahmedabad, and I needed 100 percentile to get a Bangalore call. So because of low academics, these colleges give a lot of weightage to academics. Uh, so uh, my aim was, okay, 99.7, I want to hit whatever happens. If it goes higher, great, but it shouldn't go lower. So that was the thought process when I went to give the exam. Uh, so the second time, uh, it, it was only mocks, mocks and then analysis. I really didn't have too much time either because I was working. Uh, I used to give, this time I took two different mock test series. So one on Saturday, one on Sunday. And then the uh, next Saturday, Sunday. So morning, I would give the two mocks, 9 to 12. That was the timing I had set. So one on Saturday, one on Sunday. The next Saturday, Sunday, I would be, you know, looking at the previous mocks and seeing what my errors are. So here I had a one week gap in between. So eventually that rolls over, right? So uh, this week I'll give my mocks uh, and then evenings I'll start uh, looking what happened in my previous mocks. This is not a very good way to be honest because Monday to Friday I really didn't utilize. Uh, but yeah, that's, I mean, that happens. There's really no uh, point. In my position, the thing was that I was already done with my first two phases of preparation. For those people who are still, who still have those phases, make sure you have to commit time. I think Saturday, Sunday right now is the best thing to do. You know, forget weekends for the next one year and prepare for CAT. For those who are applying for, you know, looking for CAT uh, 21, forget weekends for the next one year, right? It's all going into CAT preparation. I think that should be more than one. Yeah. So, uh, Ashwin, uh, the two, three things that I wanted to understand, because a lot of people, so uh, one person has actually sent a query that uh, which college were you in, number one, Number two, when mm -hmm. you say your accounts were not that great, okay, uh, was there any moment wherein you felt that uh, some something something is going wrong and 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 uh, mm -hmm. you know some low moments wherein you know and how did you if at all there were there, what did you do to keep yourself motivated? Because that is something which is. Uh, so mm -hmm. the CAT twenty one students are not in that phase now because their mocks mm -hmm. have not started. But what I, I know from my experience that once the mock start, uh, there are a lot of heartbreaks and I'm sure you have also gone through that. That uh, correct, so correct. I, as a teacher, I can tell you that the first reaction that I get is that sir, jo aap class mein karate hai, aur jo mocks mein aata hai, they are quite different. I mean, I mean, you know, 
so <laughs> we feel very motivated in the class because you know we can do it questions in the class uh-huh. when the mocks come it seems like a completely different planet altogether so uh, right so, uh, first question first i am from uh, ps university bangalore uh, which is a well reputed karnataka college so matlab iit and it nahi hai for first for those people and it doesn't matter they are uh, matlab yes i mean it's more a confidence factor those guys coming from iits and nits generally have a little more confidence when they are attempting exams ki yaar pehle bhi kar chuka hu so those people who have it it's okay matlab aise kuch nahi i mean they're not going to say yaar you're not from a great college you're from a poor college and then they're not going to i mean it doesn't to get or to get into an iim for that matter wo pehli baat hai for the second one all right uh, so yaar heartbreak so bahut hua hai so like i tell you see my first attempt i i had amazing marks like even though my verbal fluctuated my quant and dlr was so good ki i was doing really well so one year matlab even the few fluctuations most of it went really well second year to so six months i hadn't prepared i gave the first mock 80 percentile fellow got 99.36 percentile ends up with an 80 percentile na mock i don't know what to do ठीक है मतलब वर्बल पे बहुत कम हो गया क्वांट नहीं आ रहा आई डोंट नो व्हाट्स हैपनिंग विद मी फिर सेकंड मॉक दिया 92 परसेंट है थर्ड मॉक दिया उसी रेंज पे चल रहा है आई थिंक इवेंचुअली आई गॉट अ कपल ऑफ 99 परसेंट टाइल्स इन अ कपल ऑफ मॉक्स इन बिटवीन बट फिर एंड में फिर वापस नीचे आ गया आई वाज नॉट माय वेरी फ्लक्चुएटिंग इट इट वाज अनबिलीवेबली फ्लक्चुएटिंग एंड थिंग्स वर गेटिंग आउट ऑफ हैंड की even in fact the day before i went for cat at home my mom yaar is sal socho mat i only have anyway i have only one year work ex i'm going to try again next year yeah i say likh raha right so that sort of mentality i went in and then i come back after cat and i'm very happy my parents couldn't believe why i'm happy i said nahi acha gaya hai i'll score 99.5 plus aur jab result aaya tab pata chal raha yaar itna acha kya hai so expected nahi the kind of accuracy that i actually got in the exam was really unexpected and uh, i i don't know yeah it is very random uh, see i'm telling you keep you have to understand ki mocks are very random uh hota hai ki when you do really well and you think you're do, going to do really well and might not be that way uh, and the other way around also so i i understand i mean i can't say don't get depressed cuz that happened to me but uh, just keep moving forward yeah theek hai i'll try better keep just don't think of it from a long perspective ki yaar if i get 85 now will i get a 99 get aise mat socho think of it ki 85 aaya kyun find those weaknesses and try to improve on that theek hai mujhe ye questions nahi aa rahe let me improve on that uh, so that was anyway my uh, and luckily these things work out so one thing that i noted in your whole uh, uh, description that you gave about your cat preparation was a uh, verbal you said that you read a lot of novels right you read you read books and etc okay now uh, this is something which many people are starting now okay so so i so, so i come from a quant and lrdi background i don't come from a verbal background but i read a lot you can see uh, behind me lot of books and etc so i can uh, understand that but one thing that i believe is a uh, verbal uh, typically for an engineer okay it is seen as something which is not great and people believe that 50% accuracy ke upar ho hi nahi sakta okay mm-hmm. and i have seen lot of people coming to me and saying that sir quant kar lenge remainder theorem ho jayega uh, you know permutation combination bhi ho jayega but english mm-hmm. mein 50 percentile se upar ya 50% accuracy se upar lana it it looks like impossible okay now i understand you were reading book so therefore uh, your basics regarding the language or let's say the structure of the uh, sentences and etc uh, it had some base okay uh, do you recommend starting reading books now uh, do you think that definitely. that definitely definitely see when i say reading it doesn't have to be just books it could be see uh, reading a newspaper every day right reading anything reading in general reading good quality stuff it could be books it could be newspapers it could be well written articles so i was a big fan of kora i still am and i'm a, i keep reading right so i have a set of individuals i follow and every post they do i do make sure i read now uh, 
see there are issues with all of this ki you might get stuff which aren't good when i'm talking about good i'm not talking about material i mean the english has to be good right uh, for a person who's starting now start usme koi kuch nahi hai it always improves your english that said accuracy or reading se koi relation nahi hai in my opinion all right because see i've told you, even mereko bhi nahi aata i used to get 30% 40% accuracy also the, when i say i was good at english what i meant was that uh matlab i could read everything matlab time issue nahi tha i was quick at reading i would understand mistakes always happen you know in that fraction ki yaar do option aa gaye kaun sa hai answer i'm not sure i end up marking the wrong answer right or small mistakes are that in that is where a concentrated approach should come in so once you so what i had done uh, uh this is something which worked for me i did a comprehensive analysis of all my mocks at the end so two weeks before cat i stopped all preparation the only thing i did was verbal so usme ye kya tha i was reading normally uh, and overall my verbal percentiles were better that said the final push was this uh, i went through the last 50 odd mocks i had given that year i went through all of them uh, only the verbal part because dilr point to mai rose kar raha tha so that was there this these were the this verbal was the big problem the where it fluctuated a lot where i wasn't able to get a constantly decent score at least sometimes itna kam hua i've got a single digit score wagera so i was trying to understand what the issue is right what the root cause is so a lot and i made very silly mistakes silly mistakes could be because i probably didn't read it one more time ek bar aur pad leta to maybe i could have solved it correct right you've got to take time and then i figured out issues in my preparation or rather in the way i attempt the paper preparation mein nahi tha so if you read well and you read a you read a lot of good books right when i mean good uh, i also mean well, good variety of books right you you got not just be in one single area of one single author try to you know diversify the authors try to read more um, you know from what do i say all possible sources so i was always on kora uh, i had uh, in shorts i was reading news uh, so again news is something i would suggest to you guys right now in your uh, gdpi preparation later on right reading the news from today making sure you are updated is very important that was something i hadn't done my first uh, set of preparation i realized that during the interview the so second year ke liye i made sure i read the uh, read the news regularly so wo kar lo uh, make sure you read it's it's i'm not saying don't do any of your other preparation but this one thing organically grows your english everywhere ki wo base bad jayega you will have more confidence to converse in english if you are well read right uh, and that that's going to be a really useful during this one year so we have got one junior from your college abhinav he is asking that i am actually from pes university bangalore uh, my question to you is how is it different uh, to do cat preparation as a student and cat preparation as a working professional but i look even with ps being very stringent uh matlab I, i don't know in my case i wouldn't study more than one week before the exam okay and we have uh, three tests we have two unit uh, tests in between and then a final exam towards the end of the semester so it, it for me i had a lot of time because of that it's only classes right and eventually in third year and fourth year you have a bit of placement preparation which comes in but if you well if you prepare well for cat i can tell you a lot of your placement side will be taken care of like i had offers from goldman sachs and p uh, and cisco at the end of uh, my this thing and that is purely because first test i topped it was you know a lot of it was aptitude so again i mean if you're looking at a computer science role or something you, your preparation comes in totally differently and that takes a lot of time agreed but for me this side considered to be similar types of preparation uh, sneha has 10 months in yeah more than enough uh, see it depends on how much time you can spend it's possible that one month is enough if you can have if you have enough time and you motivated enough it's also possible ki 18 months is not enough so if you can spend enough time i think 10 months is way more than enough like you can score a really good percentile in that make sure you do your basics well do matlab take up I'll, i'll tell you ashi first thing if you guys haven't started preparation first thing take a diagnostic mock see where you're stay, standing right see how much how good you are in each of the three and your preparation has to be molded accordingly if you are someone who's starting with a 90 95 percentile in quant it's there's no point spending hours only on quant right you have to work on the things you're weaker at 
So do that. Take a diagnostic mock. See where you're sent. Already with 95 plus and say the your diagnostic mock. Yeah, three months is enough. For a person who's at let's say 90, 85, you need six months. For a, or maybe nine months, right? So that's how it works. I think ten months for most people should be more than enough. That said, it also depends on how much how motivated you are and consistency. At ten months, I mean, you have to work every weekend. You can be relaxed or wrong because eventually you start taking more offs, right? Don't don't give yourself that opportunity. Yeah, so good, good that you told about weekends because most of the students out here they study on weekdays and then they say that uh, you know weekends is for relaxation and all that stuff. So I think good that you said that at least on weekends we need to be active about it. Uh, one question that I have uh, before we take some more uh, questions from students, uh, I'm sure you prepared that during your interview, uh, but I have to ask it again. Uh, why MBA? Why do you want to do it? I think this is one question. I think people are doing it. Uh, there is a craziness about doing MBA all across the country. Uh, one one worry that I have, and I want to uh, maybe clarify it for others as well. Uh, don't you think that is going to make you a commoner again with so many people doing MBA? All right. Uh, so. Uh... When I started preparation, right? So this was in mid third year. So, uske pehle hi I had to take a call what I wanted to do in my life, right? So, engineering I joined kar diya because I don't like uh, biology. I took science. Science liya. Engineering is the most obvious option. Uh, and so I thought, okay, electronics kar lenge and I end up there, right? So I decided starting itself that I don't want to follow this pattern. Uh, I mean, at that time, see, honestly, my two years of JE prep at that time, I was Crazy, Kya R I T Jana. Why I didn't know. So there are a lot of things going on. One thing I had to decide is ki what I have to do forward, right? And uh, one thing I was sure is ki bahar nahi jana. So then I had to make the call between uh, whether I should you know do a M Tech or a or maybe just you know take a job or maybe look for something else. So us point pe second year I did a minors in management, which Abhina would know is a something you could do in our college. I took four courses. Uh, I took basically marketing, finance. I said, or two more uh, HR, and I think uh, principles of management, which is like a basic. Course. And I really enjoyed those four courses more than what I learned in electronics. The analog vagara used to irritate me. The only subjects I liked was communication related. Eventually, I joined a network consulting uh, role, right? That and then uh, so another couple of things which happened to me was after my third year, uh, I had interned in Cisco. Uh, and it was in the supply chain operation side so this is when a lot of things opened up till then all i thought of a company was uh, there was you know the r and d side and then there was sales i didn't know there were so many other things coming in and supply chain uh, when i got in there the kind of exposure it gave to me uh, i met a lot of mbas right and uh, i spoke to a lot my manager was an mba my entire team was practically an mba uh, all of them had mbas right From symbioses in NMIMS, IIMs, few of them from outside India. So then I realized that these guys, the way they work, it really fascinated me. Right, the kind of work they did, the kind of knowledge they had across industries. They knew how a company functioned left, right, and center. Right, and then I had, when I I had done an internship before that where it was an R and D firm. Everybody knew about their process. They didn't even know about the next person's process. That's how the situation was. That might have been the reason. So uh, eventually, decided that okay, management to do. This also said my dad itself is an MBA. So maybe those kind of pushes also came in. I know this is not the kind of question you would answer in interview. Interview, the reason was uh, again that also is the reason my dad's uh, an MBA. He's an entrepreneur. So that was a little inspiration, tha, definitely. But I think these were also the reasons, right? Which solidified that yeah, MBA to do. Uh, Okay, we will yeah. have ten minutes uh, more quickly. So therefore, I left to ask you some two, three quick questions. Uh, mm -hmm. One is uh, a question which says, "How did you manage your time?" We need brief answers. Okay, how did you manage okay. your time in weekdays while working? And the other one is, uh, uh, I am from non-engineering background, uh, mm -hmm. left maths long back. Uh, what would you suggest for someone like me who is really weak in maths? These are the two questions that we can take. In All next right. Uh, so, yeah. All right. So first things first. How do I manage time? 
तो आई डिडेंट रियली मैनेज टाइम वेल आई कुड गेट ओनली मे बी स्क्वीज आउट इन आर और सो uh but that was the, the reason for that was also because uh i was already prepared i mean most of my bulk of my preparations done it was only mock analysis and then working on that so uh i wasn't you know it was more the weekends where i spent time uh but yeah you can definitely see anybody who works in eight or 10 hour job right it won't be more unless you're working a longer job for somebody who works in eight or 10 hour job you have more than sufficient time i used to get up early i used to sleep early so the i i got an hour or so in the morning and a couple of hours in the evening if required uh for person who's a non engineer and who hasn't touched math see cat math isn't uh, even what we study for je it is your 10 standard math right it is not that difficult it just that you might be out of touch so start with take out modules listen to you know take classes take and uh, spend a little more time on math so a person who's an engineer probably can directly start solving in your case you'll have to go through each concept uh, you know understand the concept well spend time on that and then solve a few problems immediately uh, i think that's the way you should be going for again i'm not really the right person to ask uh, but uh, two that's what i feel yeah two questions quickly how do you keep mm-hmm. yourself motivated and focused during ups and downs that is question mm-hmm. one and uh, there is one person uh, who is saying i am working professional working in shifts and i don't have mm-hmm. a schedule uh okay either way i mean you you will sleep at some time you'll get up at some time na so keep that uh, schedule as in theek if i'm see uh, again i'm not really the right person to ask cuz i didn't have to go through that but one way i would say is we end up spending a lot of time doing things which aren't that useful be it spending time on a phone or something you've got to make time right and it happens ki we waste a lot of time just try and cut down on that it ha- you're in office okay you're in office you- that 8 10 hours is block other than that you have enough and sufficient time make sure you pull that one hour and tell you and your family will support you or whoever is with you right if you're staying in uh, say a hostel or if you're staying in uh, with in a flat with people or if you're staying alone that's even b- better right where you just tell people no one disturbs me one hour i'm going to do this only then so you got to prioritize that well as for how do you keep fo- yourself focused and motivated yeah uh, uh, what do i say it's about keeping your mind on what your goal is right as simple as that i guess it was initially keep mba karna hai once i did really well in cat like the first time it was theek hai i'm now i'm not going to back down i'm going to get to iim abc jitna bhi time lag jaye so that was my goal and i really worked that one year thinking only of that anything i do is always in contention with that that's how you keep yourself motivated and one thing you have to understand is when you feel downs or ups is when your mock scores this thing and you realize if you've taken cat once that the mocks don't matter you then each mock and you'll end up with a 99 and the reverse also can happen so wo chodo understand weaknesses and solve or work on that ki theek hai my and and understanding that is very important ki what are your problems so make sure you analyze your uh, all right so how much time did you dedicate to undergraduate studies during your college not that much uh, so that was again i wasn't a very bad student i had an 8.8 gpa eventually but uh, it was mainly one week before the exam like up in a set that's that's all you really need uh, and if you do, so every exam you got to take seriously i think that's one very important thing every exam assignment you have for your ug make sure you take that seriously eventually that will add up for your final exam and you do well that too this enough time i wouldn't say one week also it's enough time some exams are much tougher you have to give more time some which are easier you can give less uh and that so we are on almost out of time so uh, mm-hmm. just one more question when did you start giving mocks number one and if any advices that you want to give to cat 21 students because for the next six months or so quickly the last question for the day right. so when did i start giving mocks so my 2018 attempt was uh, i started giving i mean whenever the mocks start only times mocks in the first attempt and that started we had a two or three mocks in jan feb and march and then the rest the proper mocks with all of the people the 22 mocks start in may uh and then my 2019 attempt i had taken time in ims uh, both of them start in may so it was almost two mocks a week uh okay and uh, 
what advice would I give you guys? Yeah, it's about do you really want it? If you do, see, this is I would suggest doing doing this now because it takes a lot of time, right? Uh, all right, sorry, one question before I go on. Uh, what books did I follow? Uh, I did, really didn't follow uh, much books. For example, I don't know, verbal. So I didn't follow any book. It was just reading normally the same. Quant and DILR, I did refer to uh, Arun Sharma for, you know, just for taking questions. Uh, I also, for DILR, I think, I had taken um, uh, Rajesh Balasubramaniam's book. Uh, it has a really good number of questions. Again, these are for solving questions. I, ne I never focused. I mean, I took the modules which I got from time and I just followed that for the concept basis. And like I said, most of the concepts uh, I was already good at, which is the reason I probably uh, that said, you should follow things which, if you require, see, you will know. Well, let's say you take a, uh, you know, uh, a module, go through a chapter, you will understand whether you understood those when you solve questions. You realize you're not able to, you got to look for other uh, sources. Uh, did you attempt non CAT exams, FPS? Uh, well, how do you decide which ones to attempt? Uh, I was a little, uh, you know, uh, I was a little. Uh, what do I say? I was a little arrogant the first time I attempted. I was like, yeah, I am ABC Jayenge. I will not go anywhere else. Or acha percent I'll be Ajayega. And I went and wrote, I wrote only cat, I did anything else, which is a very wrong, bad thing to do. Second year, I realized that. So I had attempted that. Uh, I had uh, applied for uh, IFT as well, though I eventually couldn't take up because of personal reasons. Uh, and I couldn't attempt. But these are the three exams which I had looked for. Uh, and then I was going to apply for uh, IITs if CAT wasn't as good as I wanted. So it depends on what kind of colleges you're looking at. There are other exams like SNAP, MAT. Uh, if you're from uh, Maharashtra, the CET also is a very good exam to take. JBMS, etc. really good colleges. So you'll have to look at that. But in my, see, I was someone who's helped, who had scored a 99 percentile. So I was looking at the IIMs and colleges in the top 10. If you're ready to so say if you feel you can't or if you feel you're not ready to put in that much of effort, you can also look at other colleges. But I'd suggest these three exams, uh, you have to run, right? CAT, ZAT, IFT, you have to run. Uh, Ashwin, I am glad I've been at the Ashwin, we have completely run out of time. Zoom will throw us out uh, in a few seconds. So thank you very much for bringing uh, a little bit of time and spending time with us. Uh, wish you all the best in IIM Ahmedabad when you are starting. Okay, and uh, we will keep on uh, 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 coming back to you with any queries from all of these students. All right, thanks, guys. Right. All the best. Do thank, really well. you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me here. Okay. Yep. Thank you for thank attending, you. everybody. See you in the classes. Right. Bye bye. Bye. Take guys. Care. Good night.